Um, and then it, we're going to uh, reorder the, the order of the teams a little bit because of flights. And John ha uh, Jeff has another comment. Oh, Robert is going to tell us about the Heroes Group. So, so first, uh, many people in the in the breaks now. You know, who are these Heroes people anyway? Robert, why don't you come on up? Um, and Robert East from our Fogarty Center uh, knows them quite well, uh, and will will tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll go into the team report outs. Thanks. I'll just briefly um, give some background on Heroes. I have some familiarity with it because our director, Francis Collins, has been the was the chair from twenty from um, twenty twelve to twenty sixteen. Jeremy Farrar is the present chair, and they meet next on the NIH campus on June seventeenth and eighteenth. And they were, in fact, the genesis of this initiative. Francis came to Heroes and indicated that he'd love a discussion on the various perspective, large scale. Um, cohorts in the world and where there are potential synergies. This was, this was at the early stage of the development of all of us and the importance of NIH of, um, of establishing some type of international platform. That led to the predictable um, request that we do some type of descriptive in inventory to understand the landscape, what cohorts are out there, and we did, as Jeff and, and Terry have noted, we went out to the Heroes Group, an opportunistic sample with asking them to indicate what uh, large-scale population-based cohorts of over 100,000 consented volunteers are they funding and came back with some 50 examples. Um, that led to the notion of the, of the benefits of a forum where these cohorts could come together and exchange views on best practices in scientific developments. Very briefly, HEROES is an informal gathering. You will not find a website. They do not have a terms of reference, but they're unique because they're the one time the major funding organizations gather to talk about shared interests in research governance, to talk about scientific and policy developments. There are 29 of the major medical research councils and philanthropies across the world. Ten of these organizations are represented in this room. Um, and they represent potentially 90% of the global biomedical research spend. There isn't presently industry participation in HEROES, although there, is, there are frequent industrial speakers who, 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 um, who address HEROES. We thought it was a useful platform to address the need for some type of scheme that would assist and facil facilitate cooperation among large-scale cohorts simply because they, they're such an efficient, they're, simply because they do represent the major funders worldwide. Um, they have, there, there are a couple of interesting precedents with HEROES which suggest that they are capable of coordinating large-scale projects. They came to develop, they came together to address, I guess, what you could call a public market failure, the paucity of biomedical research looking at uh, determinants, treatment, um, prevention of non-communicable diseases in low and middle income countries. There was a perception, uh, a correct perception, I think, that this was undercapitalized by the HEROES membership. This important research question was not being addressed. So they took a collective action. They decided to come together to develop collaborative joint calls um, that address scientific questions related to non-communicable diseases, specifically in low and middle income populations. They do this on an, on an annual basis. They go through the complex enterprise of coordinating budgets and calls. Um, they support strictly the scientists in their host nation, but they're, they're working under a coordinated framework, which is a loose but suggestive framework for what they, they could potentially support with regard to large-scale cohorts. They've also underwritten the development of a database, in this case, as a collaborative tool, the heroes, who many of whom, many of which uh, work in Africa, were finding that very often three or four of their members are working collaboratively at one institution, and it's a fragmented enter enterprise. They don't know what is in, in the next institution, that a similar protocol is taking place. So heroes came together to develop a descriptive database of their projects in Africa, again, is a, is a tool for planning and coordination in implementing studies in a more efficient and coordinated manner. So in a word, that's the rationale. Um, HEROES is not a funding agency. They're not a governance agency. They're a collection of funders that has taken a very strong interest in the work of this um, 
of this consortium and for us it would seem an opportunity to um to to address this group with with the demonstration projects that have been discussed over the last two days and to potentially meet individually and collectively with heroes to um talk about the potential for um for sort of realizing these ambitions through investment if there are any questions i can sort of endeavor to try to answer Great. Jeff? Okay. All right. Thank you much. Hopefully that's, that's filled in some of the background that we probably were a little bit too, uh, too brief with when we, when we started. Um, so our, our apologies for not communicating more clearly.